this video, we're excited to introduce Elastic Maps Server. If you have tried to use Elastic Maps for Kibana on an air-gapped or restricted network, you may have seen this error. Kibana is unable to access Elastic Maps Service. Elastic Maps Server is a self-managed version of Elastic Maps Service, offered as a Docker image to provide base maps and boundaries for Elastic Maps without requiring access to the internet. Instructions for configuring and running Elastic Maps Server can be found in the Kibana Guide. To begin using Elastic Maps Server, you'll need to have Docker installed on your computer or server. Pull the image from our Docker registry using the docker pull command and the URL of the image. Run the Elastic Maps Server Docker image and expose port 8080 to your host machine. In your web browser, open localhost port 8080 to see the status page and instructions for configuring Elastic Maps Server to work with your environment. As you can see, the license status has failed because we have not yet set the connection for our Elasticsearch cluster. In the first step, we create a new EMS user and role in Elasticsearch with only the necessary permissions to verify the license. Then, we enter our Elasticsearch host, username, and password into a new YAML file. If necessary, we can also configure SSL settings for connecting to Elasticsearch. After we create the configuration file, we need to restart the Elastic Maps server Docker image and add this file to the container. One way to do this is with a bind mount to the host machine. We add the V flag to mount a path on the host machine to the container. Let's check the status of page again, and we'll see that license status has now connected to our Elasticsearch cluster, but the service is still red. This is because my cluster is not licensed to run Elastic Maps server. So in Kibata, I'm going to add my enterprise license to the cluster, and the license service should change to green. Fantastic! Now, I also notice the base map service is yellow, and it tells me it's missing the complete tile service database. We could choose to ignore this and continue anyways, but our maps would be missing details as we zoom in. For an optimal experience, we need to download and extract the tile service database using the link on the status page. Because it contains detailed maps of the entire planet, the complete tile service database is around 90 gigabytes. Now that the tile service database is downloaded and extracted, we need to provide this to the Elastic Maps Server container. I'm going to restart the Elastic Maps Server container and bind mount the directory containing the tile service database on my host to the container. Now, on the status page, we see all services are green. The final step is configuring Kibana to load maps from the Elastic Maps server. To do this, we'll open kibana.yaml and configure the map.ems URL to be the URL of our Elastic Maps server container. Now, we can restart Kibana and open Elastic Maps. I can disconnect from the internet, and the base maps will continue to load. We can also create coropleth layers using boundaries from Elastic Maps Server. Elastic Maps Server is available as a beta release in 7.11. If you'd like to learn more, check out our documentation in the Kibana Guide. <laughs>